Hey friends, it's Colby. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited that you guys are here and super excited to share today's video with you guys. Uh, we're going to be going through and doing a really simple project to help give your bedroom a massive upgrade. Um, so we're going to be doing a DIY duvet cover upgrade using RIT dye and some shibori dyeing techniques. This is a really easy way to give your bedroom a facelift um, using minimal projects but making a big impact. For today's DIY, you need a couple different supplies. Um, first, you need a plain white duvet cover. This is the one from Target. Um, and all of the prices and links will be included in the description down below. You also need two pieces of plywood cut into a triangle shape. Um, so I've used these on another dye project before, so they are currently blue. Um, but they're just some basic plywood scraps that we um, cut down to size for use on this project. You also need your dye. Um, I have a very particular color in mind for today, um, so I chose wine and fuchsia. Um, you also need a little bit of rope to hold their project together, um, and any sort of strong string will work really well. Um, this is some cotton rope that I had on hand for another project. And gloves to protect your hands as you're working with the dye. So um, that's all that you really need to make this happen. So let's move on to the next step and get our duvet cover prepped for the dye bath. All right, let's go ahead and open up our duvet cover. Annie. I'm gonna set these aside, the pillowcases. take that out and then fold it right back to where it was. Now that we have our duvet cover out of the package, we're going to go ahead and fold it into our triangle shapes that we're going to use. Your triangles will continue to get larger, but that's okay. This isn't meant to be perfect. Now you have the shape we're going to work with. We're now going to take our pieces of wood and place them on either side of our triangles. Um, once we tie this up, the dye will have access to here, but we'll pre be preventing it from bleeding into the inner pieces, creating a really pretty um, resist effect as it tries to get in um, and creating our triangle dye pattern. Let's attach the rope. We have our comforter all wrapped and ready to go. Let's take our dye and our gloves and go prep our dye bath. To prep our dye bath, we had six gallons of uh, the hottest tap water that I could get in just a plastic tub. And we're going to start our little chemistry experiment and make our dye bath. So for our color today, we are going to be using half a cup of fuchsia. I've only got 
one take on this, so I'm a little nervous. So pretty, I wish you would have seen it up close. And one tablespoon of wine. And then according to the bottle instructions to give the dye an extra boost, we're going to add a cup of salt. Okay, a cup of salt. And two teaspoons of dish soap. So now moment of truth. In we go. Oh, put gloves on. Press down to squeeze out all the air bubbles. As you can see, mine is trying really hard to float. So I'm gonna go get something heavy to set on top um, and then we'll start stirring. I grabbed a bucket full of water. And so next we're gonna stir around our duvet cover for about 15 minutes. But you guys don't have to sit here that long. So I'm gonna fast forward and I'll see you in about 15 minutes when we're done stirring. Okay, it's been um, a, a total of an hour since we put it in. Um, I sat here and mixed it for 15 minutes continuously and then let it sit stirring occasionally for an additional 45 minutes. Uh, so the practice string turned out great. Um, it's really dark, it probably won't be this dark whenever we take it out um, once we rinse it out and wash it, um, but it looks to be pretty much the color I was hoping. So, let's grab it. Oh, just so you know, I've got some saran wrap laid out here too. Um, this is gonna be able to, uh, we're gonna be wrapping it in saran wrap and letting it sit for an additional six to eight hours to let the color really soak in. So, let's put on our gloves and reach in. It looks so good! I'm gonna set it here. And squeeze out some of the excess water. And I'm gonna move it to my saran wrap and then bring you guys closer so you can see what's happening. It's heavy. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Okay, now we're just gonna start wrapping it in saran wrap. There's no perfect way to do this, um, so just go for it. Just so you guys know, I have down a towel and then a trash bag to really protect my surface. Um, and I tried to wear clothes that um, were darker in color, but also that it was kind of okay getting dye on um, to protect myself and my surfaces. Do you have to do this much saran wrap? Probably not, but I have to carry it from here to a place that it can sit for a while. So I'm trying to be super thorough. And I think she looks pretty secure. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and cut this here and then leave it to sit for um, 
six to eight hours uh, and then we'll rinse it out and put it in the washing machine and do the big reveal. So let's see it. Shibori dyeing techniques. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed getting to show you guys this project. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really does um, mean the world to me. And if you haven't seen last week's video where I tested out alcohol ink for the first time, I'll make sure and link that in the description box as well as in the cards up above. And then if you want a sneak peek at some of the things that are coming up on my channel, uh, take a look at the headboard behind me. Uh, I have a video coming out in a couple weeks where I walk you through exactly how I built it and how you can build one too. Uh, so make sure to subscribe and um, hit the notification bell down below so that you can know exactly when that video comes out. I'm super excited about it, excited to show you guys. So like I said, make sure to subscribe for new crafty videos every Tuesday. Thanks, bye friends. Thank you.